people were starting to speculate that Catherine had an affair with Jake Paul. De'Ara made some tweets, people were speculating as a response to the whole cheating thing, and Kayla Nicole reveals her secret. So let's get straight into the drama. So Diera recently tweeted on the weekend after the whole cheating situation saying, My whole family really unmatched. Some people were assuming that she was talking about her family, like regarding her and Ken. I personally feel that she was probably talking about her, like, blood family, you know, brothers, sisters, whatever she has, cousins, I don't know, maybe they were having her back through the whole situation and that's what she meant. Because of course people don't want her to go back with Ken after he was touching a girl's butt. Apparently according to him, from what he made it sound like, he actually harassed her. But we know what it is. He was trying to explain it, but really he be lying. But it's yeah, not, this is not, be okay, quiet but Tiffany. Everybody be quiet! Look, that's what is I'm wrong with you. Help, but you're not Stop not it! You I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this. I was rooting for you! We were all rooting for you! How dare you! Now, regarding the receipts when we were talking about the car, how one of the cars, right, had an E, and the car that was in the car park had a C. One of you guys said the car that had the E on it was the temporary car cause, the Tesla, and the one with the C license plate was in the shop getting fixed. Which is true because we end up checking out Diera and Ken's video, and Diera or Ken said that they had a temporary car, so that makes sense why there was a different car in the car park. Also, in my previous video, I made the assumption that she she took her ring off her finger because of maybe Ken. So that I was totally wrong. One of you guys said Diera stopped wearing her ring in a long time ago. She lost weight and the ring was too big on her finger. And we actually watched one of her old videos and yet yeah, she doesn't have a ring in there either. So most likely she didn't have a ring due to what you guys are saying because she lost weight. Apparently I cannot find this vlog. You guys need to leave me links. By the way, hit up my IG page, Martin Lewis Lee. So if you see I made a mistake, you can hit me up and tell me there because I'll most likely see it. Okay, so after the whole Ken and Diera thing happened, a lot of YouTubers had so much to say, guys. Yok was being a hypocrite all up in those comments. The sh was ironic and funny. Chandler was like, I feel like it's worse to get cheated on while you engage rather than just dating because that man basically said he wanted to spend the rest of his life with you. Meanwhile, he's spending his time with a whole other female. Shaking my head, 2020 can go to hell. Daisha was like, no, can I'm single. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she didn't say that. <laughs> she got a boyfriend. King Sid was up in there. He was like, finally, woo. Y'all, y'all, y'all know every couple ain't, ain't, ain't perfect, woo. Just get through ish. 100. Brandon got scans. I was like, what do you mean, finally? King and Sid end up making a whole video about the situation. Not to see they not perfect either. So if they, 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 they get through what they're going through right now, it's the same as every other couple, but y'all just gotta stop judging us. Y'all gotta stop judging other, you feel me? That's what I'm talking to y'all about, man. That's what I meant by finally. I don't care about if they still go out or not. That's, I don't watch them. That's not, that's not what I'm tuned in about. Okay, so if you don't remember what Jason tweeted a while back in July, he said, I hate perfect relationship, woo. And Bree said, toxic love is fun. Aha! Uh -huh. No! Security! And that's when Jason retweeted that. Now, I don't know if they were serious or not, but that's what most people were talking about. Because Jason, sweetheart, your relationship, your relationship with your sister, probably with Bree's mama, it's not perfect. It's toxic. It's a whole different ball game, princess. You have issues and you need to fix yourself. Sweetheart. But I believe you can, man. You just need to talk about it and shit like that. Get a counselor. I don't know what you need to do, but it's it's different. It's a whole toxic vibration there, okay? I hate it when people who are really extremely toxic like to use the justification. Oh, well, we're not perfect. Nah, bro. Good night. Anyway, let's move on to the Austin and Jake Paul drama. So Austin basically posted on Instagram saying, There's a whole lot of boxing talk going on lately. Oh, you're a bit late, bro, because Jake Paul, like, challenged you, like, what, last year? I've been an athlete my entire life, so it would be disappointing for me not to get involved. At Jake Paul, been running from me for years. I got five mil for whoever steps into the ring with me. Then Catherine said, I didn't sign up for this when this selfie 
it was taken. <laughs> Jake Paul then reposted his post on his Instagram saying, I've been more worried about your wife and my DMs. Some drama is about to happen. Should I post the receipts? Yes or no? Don't home wreck. Oh my god, the writing's so small, sorry guys. But anyway, a lot of people voted yes, and he ends up posting more. Apparently, Catherine posted and deleted, How original. I forgot you existed until my husband mentioned you today. At Jake Paul, I'll be sending you an invoice for this free publicity. <gasps> See, Jake Paul was so small, he wasn't able to please her like his dad. <laughs> Jake Paul reposted that saying, Dude, Austin had her hit the quick story delete. But, yo, Catherine McBroom, how you gonna send me an invoice if the publicity is free? I mean, I never got an invoice for some free-ish. Fish what? You good over there? He then posted a DM allegedly from Catherine, cause this could be photoshopped, who knows, saying, Delete your story, what the F? Why would she say delete the story? Like, why would she care? You feel me? It's just a bit weird. I'm surprised Austin didn't message him. But anyway, Kayla Nicole decide to reveal to the world that she got married. She end up saying on her story, I just want y'all confused A to know I'm married. And have been for a while now. But also, I didn't just get married because I made a baby. So please, don't assume that either. This is why I didn't broadcast anything. Because I knew people would say I was too young for marriage and try to make fun of me for that. It's nothing to be ashamed of though. It's okay to marry young. Hell, my mama was 19 when she was married. My dad, but anywho, true love is not on a schedule. You can put a date on your wedding but I can't see the rest brah who gave me this but yeah I agree with her there's definitely nothing to be ashamed of but honestly I'm, I swear to god she already told everyone she was married ages ago we're gonna have to look back at my old video but I'm pretty sure she did unless she was trolling you can't tell with Kayla but yeah my mama right she got married when she was like what how old 19 20 she got married young too that was really normal back in the day to get married young but hey, if a snake like Kayla Nicole can find love, then she, anyone can. But hey, let me know what you guys think about all the stories today in the comments section below. Hit the subscribe button notification. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. We got up to 3 100k over this weekend i appreciate the love i've been making content video after video and i haven't been showing my face because i've been hella busy moving and all that that i don't have time to like sit and film so i was like bruh i'm doing voiceovers for like a minute so you're gonna be getting videos like this but anyway i'll see you guys in another drama video